Hey you guys, Tina here. For those of you that don't know me, welcome back to my channel. So I just got done watering some of the greenhouse plants and I'm gonna head over and see what Joe's up to. I think he's chopping some firewood. This video is really fun, something I just wanted to share with you guys. We decided to do our very own DIY wood burning stove in our house. So we are a military family and we have spent quite a few years in Alaska. We spent some time up in Fairbanks, Alaska when we were in the Army, and then we also spent some time in Ketchikan, Alaska when we were in the Coast Guard. So our hearts um, are in Alaska. Parker was born in Alaska. We bought our first home in Alaska. Just lots of firsts happen there, and um, it's just a different way of life. So one thing I really miss ever since we sold our home and came to Virginia with the military was our um, wood-burning stoves. We had two wood-burning stoves in the Alaska house, and we heated the entire house with those stoves. We cooked on them when there was power outages. I mean, they just came in handy for so many things, and there's just something about the ambience of uh, a wood burning stove. We've had a couple houses here in Virginia and they've always had gas fireplaces. So you've got the real flame, but it's from gas. So you don't have that wood smell. Um, and it's just nostalgic for us. We absolutely love it. And I've been begging Joe, hey, let's put in a wood burning stove. Not really thinking that I would ever get that. But um, after we finished the greenhouse, we started getting into the colder months and we decided, you know what, let's just plan it out, draw it out, and let's make it happen. So that's what this video is gonna be about, is just step-by-step step how we installed our very own wood-burning stove in our new home. And we did our hearth and we did our backsplash. Um, Joe did all of the insulated pipes throughout the attic up through the roof. Lots of YouTube videos and research went into that. But anyway, super excited to share this with you guys. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think of our little wood burning stove. So far it's super sweet and it's keeping the house nice and toasty. Um, Joe and I have taken a couple trips to go get some firewood from some people on, um, I think Craigslist or OfferUp that had trees that came down that they wanted to get rid of. And you know, it was like for free, you come haul it away, you can have it. So we've gone out because we're not um, on a lot of land here at the new house, so we can't just go out and cut down our own trees. So I think that's what Joe's working on right now. So let's go take a look. Hey, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> so this is an oak tree that somebody had that fell down in their backyard and they wanted it gone, so Joe and I went out there and Joe chopped it all up and brought it home for the new wood burning stove. So it's a little wet, he's saying, so he's been chopping it and bringing it in the house to dry out. It's super wet in Virginia all the time. We just had a tornado on Christmas Eve. What in the heck? Like 11.30 at night, we crawled into bed and the tornado warning started going off. You working out, Joe? Getting buff? Yeah. Good stress reliever, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The bees are sleeping. It's too cold out here for them. It looks bright and sunny, but it's actually pretty chilly. Do I have to do it really hard? <laughs> I just had my surgery. I don't think I should be doing that. Do you? Do whatever you think. Oh, Ooh. yeah. I did it. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> Molly, what are you doing? Handsome little puppy. And there's Stryker. What are you doing, Stryker? Heads are born in the like 
go underground until summer. Into the wood piles. Well, your hand's already bleeding. It's fine. You look sexy with your axe. <laughs> and I've got a lot of muscles, so. Just saying. Lucky you got me. Mm, yeah, it was when I left. So since we're out here working and getting nasty, Joe decided he wanted to clean out the chicken coop really quick. So what we've been doing is taking all of the chicken manure and composting it in the raised beds in the garden to make our soil better. And um, we've been keeping all of our kitchen scraps too and putting those into the um, raised beds also for compost. So. That was kind of a big adjustment once we sold the farm and got rid of all the pigs because we always saved all of our kitchen scraps for the pigs. We didn't waste anything. And uh, I don't like throwing anything away. So we are back to not throwing anything away. We're just composting it all for healthier soil. So, so this chicken coop we bought when we built this house a year ago. You guys probably remember from the farm videos, we built a coop at the farm. But when we came out here, we needed something quick and fast to put the chickens in. So we went and bought this. It's really a dog kennel. So it's got this outer outer part. And then it's got the door that leads on to the inside. So, And this is kind of that um, plasticky type flooring. It's not wood. So it makes it really easy for cleaning. Not a chicken mansion, but it'll do. Chickens roost out here. Some of them roost out here. And then the rooster and the, the boss hens sleep inside at nighttime. Doing a good job, Joe. Got a yummy little mixture here for the chickens. Got some chicken scraps, some green pellets. What else we got in there, Joe? But the chickens really like this little mixture here. Sunflower seeds. So we found that the wood chips work better in the chicken coop. We've tried straw and hay, and what you end up with is just these disgusting slats of hay full of poop and pee, and it makes it really hard to clean the coop out. So the wood chips soak it up a lot better. And they smell good, huh, Joe? When we bought this, of course, the chicken roost wasn't in here. There was nothing in here, so Joe built that. And uh, we just lift it up when we're cleaning the coop, and then we can put it back down. And he built our little nesting boxes, too. So the garden looks like a ghost town, or like Death Valley. <laughs> it's 
how it looks in the winter time. Everything's gone. Like that. Except my strawberries. We're gonna cover them up for the winter and hopefully next year we'll have some strawberries. Strawberries take a little while to produce. So right now we've been working hard on amending our soil with the compost. So all the chicken manure and food scraps come out here and Joe comes out and turns the soil every now and then. These two boxes are looking really good. But last year we didn't have the greatest dirt. I mean you can kind of see it was like clay, clay dirt compared to this. Look how nice and awesome that looks. That's some good soil. So hopefully 2021, we'll have an awesome garden. Right, Joe? Mm -hmm. Learn as we go. So we're gonna take a quick trip over to my brother's farm. He's got some huge um, tree stumps that Joe would like to get one so that he can have a chopping block for when he cuts firewood. So we're gonna head over there really quick and grab one of those and bring it back to the property. Working on one like this big. <coughs> yeah, it don't work well. Yeah. <coughs> Seeing these when I came over here, I was like, oh man, they yeah. didn't get one. You think you can get it? Yeah, <laughs> that one was so little. That was that's way better. Keeps it all in one spot, huh? Yeah. Huh. Over there. Somewhat. Somewhat. Mm-hmm. Yep.